Hi, do your apps manage their own routes on visit basis too, but you want to make sure they complete certain scenarios when visiting their places? Then this video is for you. We will show you how to link scenarios to places. There are two ways of doing this, place by place or in bulk. In either one, you must make sure that the box Use without ticket or assignment on the scenario is checked so the rep can perform unplanned visits. Let's start with place by place. Let's say I'm monitoring a certain store and I need reps to perform a signage audit at every visit, as well as file a low stock alert report. I go to each one of these scenarios, first, signage audit, and copy the scenario ID here on top. Double click and copy. Then I paste it on any text or spreadsheets editing software. Let's do the same thing for the other scenario. Low stock alert, copy, and paste. Now I just remap the text like this. Dollar sign before the scenario ID, equal sign after. Same thing for the other scenario ID. Dollar sign before the scenario ID, equal sign after. Now I add a comma between both values and I copy the whole string. Moving back to visit bases, now I choose the place where I want the two scenarios to be performed, click on its name to edit, and paste the string I just copied into the metadata field. If there is other information in this field already, make sure you have a comma before you paste. Update place. That's done. Let's take a look at the mobile app. I synchronize the app to load the latest changes. Now I go to Places, select the place where I added the scenarios, and click on Start Report. Here we see, under Unplanned Scenarios, the Signage Audit and the Low Stock Alert Scenarios. Done! Now let's say that every time my reps go to all stores, they need to perform a product face count. So I need all the stores to have the face count scenario at every rep visit. In this case, I need to add the scenario string to all stores in bulk. First thing, let's explore the places table. We will go to the places window, make sure that no filters are applied, since we want all the stores to have the scenario, but you can also apply filters in the case, for instance, that you want only the places from a certain chain or city to have the scenario. Now we go to menu, export places, click on the text window, control A to select all, control C to copy. Now open Excel or Google Sheets and paste. We have now some simple editing to do. Select the three last columns, followers, owner, and last updated, and delete them. Next step is to get the scenario ID in visit basis. So my face count scenario, double click on the ID, copy, and paste it in any cell. We click on the cell with the scenario ID, add a dollar sign before it, an equal sign after, and a comma. If your metadata column is empty, you can simply copy the edited scenario ID and paste for all places. If you already have other metadata, you can do a simple concatenate formula using first the fixed cell of the edited scenario ID and the current content of the metadata field. Now I apply the same formula to all places, copy, and paste special values on the first record of the metadata column. The table is now ready. So let's select our range of values and copy. Back in Visit Basis on the Places window, we click on Menu, Update Places, click on the Text window, Control or Command A to select everything, and Paste. Update. That's it, we're done. Now we can check the mobile app. Synchronize first to load the change we just made. Menu, Places. We can choose any place now since we link the scenario to all places. Start Report. And there you go, here is my face count scenario. Should you have any questions, please contact us at support at visitbases.com.